So in this class, we're going to talk about the five limitations that ChatGPT currently has right now. The first one is that he's a statistical model, which means that he doesn't actually know anything. He just, for the next word, calculates what would be the best next word to follow up. So what does it mean? It means most, first and foremost, that it probably will give you wrong answers about factual stuff. Like, for example, This might be wrong, you know, I, I mean, I might have had bad luck here and it might have been right this case, but I bet you that if I were to give it like three different inputs that at least once it would be mistaken. So that's the first thing you should bear in mind that it's statistical. It doesn't quite know exact stuff. So the consequence of this is our sec second objection that he will invent a lot of things. So if we're asking give me five pickleball uh, court locations in Los Angeles, California, he'll probably invent a lot of them. This Poinsettia Recreation Center probably doesn't exist. This Marbista as well probably doesn't exist. So have this in mind whenever you ask for factual stuff, even if it's not like science -y exact stuff. And the third thing that you should bear in mind that is very much in line with, this, with those problems is that it only has knowledge up until September of 2021. Let me prove this to you. See, it only knows up until September 2021. However, whenever it's updated to current day, you know, like might it be 2023 or only in 2024, I'll let you know and I'll update this course accordingly. But that's a very important limitation he has right now. So even though you might ask him about something about 2022 and he might give you like a, a, an answer that is correct, bear in mind that it might be A, something he invented, or B, something that is indeed true, but he only got that right because of his statistical mind. The next thing you should have in mind is that show me a picture of a chipmunk on a motorcycle. It has no concept of giving you any type of images. So it's not mid journey. It's not Dolly. Uh, you can't even ask him for images about those locations here, for example, to play pickleball. So bear in mind that he has no no knowledge about image, but if you really want something about images, let me know and I'll show you some free resources about that in a future lesson. And the final objection he has and you might run into is that unless you are paying for it and I'm paying right now for ChatGPT Plus, if I open it, uh, you can see it's plus, it might go offline and it probably will because a lot of people are using it. It just reached 100 million users and more and more people will be using it and probably to roll out the the need for the paid plan they'll probably you know like shrink the servers for the free plan so yeah the, the truth is if you really want stable and ready to use service have this in mind uh, those are the five limitations of JetGPT. i know those are, are bummer but Let's cheer up because from now on, everything will be nice things about ChatGPT, okay? So, see you in the next class.